Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. Christian Care Ministries, your host, Louis Ruffin. God is so good. We want to give you a scripture today. James 5, 14. Reads, is anyone among you sick? It's a great question. Let him call for the elders of the church. Him or her. A lot of times when the word him is used in the Bible, that means humankind. It includes men and women because, you know, the Lord created both. Yes, he did. <laughs> he created Adam and he created Eve out of Adam. Right, yeah. And Eve is the mother of all living. You know that. You're a Bible scholar. You're a Bible student. You read the Bible. You know that. Don't let nobody fool you. Mm -mm. Because we already have a spiritual wickedness in high places that's making a mockery out of spirituality and democracy. So don't you be a part of that uh, debacle. Don't be a part of that. No. Uh, James 5.14 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray <laughs> over him. See, it's more than a one-man show. Yeah, 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 yes it is. Yes it is. Yes, yeah. Because, you know, there was 120 in the upper room and they were all with one accord in one place. Yes, they were. Yeah, we'll talk more about that later. We're reading this scripture and giving you some information as we read it. And let them pray over him. I mean, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. <laughs> yeah, Jesus is the name of the Lord. Yes, I'm aware that there is a, an anti-Jesus uh, spirit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People want to say everything but the word Jesus. Because, see, that's the ploy of the devil. That's the device of the devil. Because there's power in the name of Jesus. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. There's power, authority in the name of Jesus. Is anyone... Among you sick, let him call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him, anointing him with all in the name of the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you and we praise you and we glorify you. And we thank you for your plan of salvation. Dear Lord, we thank you how you robed yourself in flesh. How you became a veil, a tabernacle, and dwelt with men. Lord, we thank you right now for your birth. Uh, we thank you for your life. We thank you for your burial. And we thank you for your resurrection, dear Lord. We thank you because you're one Lord. We thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, because you are Father in creation, Son in redemption, and Holy Ghost in regeneration. And we thank you, O oh God, in the name of Jesus, because you're able to do all things and nothing is too hard for you, okay? Oh, Lord, that one uh, that's sick, uh, that one that's gone through test after test, and the doctors can't find out what's wrong, but there is definitely wrong because of the swelling, oh, God, and because of the pain, uh, there is misery in the body. But, oh, God, one touch, one word from you, Lord, mm, can change everything in the name of Jesus. We thank you for his healing right now. Oh, God, we thank you, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, that the migraine is gone in the name of Jesus. We thank you because the back pain is gone, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, I'm a schedule that you're one that's scheduled for surgery. Mm. I don't know whether it's the hips or, or whether it's the back or whether it's the knee, but whatever it is, oh, God, you can fix it, yes. <laughs> you are a healer of all diseases, Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Mm. O oh God, you are a healer of every disease and forgiver of every <laughs> iniquity, Lord. And we thank you, O oh God, because it's impossible for you to lie. We love you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We, we give you the glory. Mm. Oh, Lord, we're declaring you the Father. Have your way. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Christian Care Ministries. Lewis Ruffin here for you. Thank God our number is 513-205-5545. Oh, yes, uh, you can call call me at a reasonable hour. Yes, amen. Be glad to help you all that I can spiritually. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we can pray together. We can cry together. 
Cause it'll be all it'll be all right. Yeah, it'll be all right. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. Mm. We want to look uh, at a, a subject matter today. Something to think about. I uh, hope it's something that will challenge or, or test your thinking. Uh, yes, I, I did uh, get a word for uh, a TRM, and you can have that word too. Yeah, sure, you can have that word. TRM, yeah, Total Restoration Ministries. Pastor Damon White, First Lady Salome White. Oh, yeah, they work together as one. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Elder Sean White, musician, yes. Uh -huh. Sister uh, Haisha White, yes. Uh, uh, Sean's wife, uh, wonderful bride, uh, heart of humility, oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, they work together as one, yes they do, yeah, it's a blessed family, a real blessed family, and that's what you want in leadership, you want a family that's together, uh, we don't want no, no fake, uh, no fakes in leadership, because you know what a fake is, right, forgery, yes, counterfeit, mm -hmm. a copy, a sham, fraud, yeah. Mm hmm Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. A hoax? Yes. Mm hmm Imitation. This is all fake, yeah. Uh a mock. Mm hmm A dummy. You don't want, amen, a, a puppet uh, as a leader. No, no, you don't. No, you don't. You don't want a puppeteer uh, as a leader. No, no, no. Uh -uh. You want a leader, amen, that's strong and courageous. Uh as Jesus uh uh, was so strong and courageous and said that I lay my life down <laughs> and I got power to pick it up amen you got power to be a better leader yes you do amen in Jesus name we thank God amen for TRM yeah mm -hmm. you know fake means to take an action with the intent to deceive yeah, and we know that that's uh, prevalent today in so many places let me say that again fake means to take an action with the intent to deceive, yes. Fake means to take an action with the intent to deceive. You know, like you say, I'm for peace, but actually I'm for war, yes. Yes. Uh, you remember uh, that, was it fairy tale? Uh, about uh, in the woods there and uh, going to grandma's house, but grandma wasn't there, and uh, that wolf, had the intent to deceive? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of that going on. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sure. A wolf's in sheep clothing. Yeah. Beware of dogs. The Bible tells you that. Beware of dogs. Oh, yeah. Beware. Beware. There's a lot to be aware of. We talk about fake. Yes. Mm -hmm. Forgery and counterfeit. Yes. A copy, a sham, a fraud, a hoax. Yeah, we're talking about uh, fake. Yes. A fake means to take an action with the intent to deceive. A fake person is a phony person. He pretends to be nice when really he is not. <laughs> no, 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 he's not. No, he's not. You know, I'm giving that illustration about the snake uh, that was cold and wanted to get across the river, and uh, this person picked him up and put him. Uh, the snake in his bosom and walked across the river and uh, as they were going across the river uh, the man said uh, don't bite me and the snake said oh no I'm not no, I'm not going to bite you I'm not going to bite you I mean you taking me across the river keeping me warm I'm not going to bite you and as soon as he got across the river the snake bit him and the man looked at the snake and said well you bit me he said yeah because I'm a snake yeah that's right a snake cunning mm -hmm. subtle a deceiver yes yes in the garden, there was a snake, yeah, a serpent. Gave place to the devil. Don't you give place to the devil, yeah. Mm -hmm. The devil is using you and making you look like a fool, yes. <laughs> Everybody knows you're fake but you. <laughs> oh, yes, uh -huh. we talk about fake, fake. Don't want that in worship. Don't want any fake worship. That's our subject today. Room for worship. For worship. Do you worship the Lord in spirit and in truth? Something to think about, isn't it? Have you looked at yourself? Have you examined uh, yourself? Have you taken inventory to see if you are, are really worshiping or are you being entertained by those uh, on the stage, on the platform? Yes. Yes. 
uh, people are singing to you, people are preaching and teaching to you, and uh, there's skits and there's movie clips and all of that. But are you worshiping the Lord in spirit and in truth? Because worship, you know, that's giving praise <laughs> to a higher power. <laughs> and that would be Jesus. Yeah, he has a name. Yeah, God has a name. Mm -hmm. The Lord himself shall show you a sign. A virgin shall conceive. Yeah, that's Isaiah 7, 14. And then you go on over to Isaiah 9, 6, 4. Unto us. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. A child is born. A son is given. Mm, mm, mm. My, my, my. And then all of those things after that. Everlasting Father. Yeah. Prince of Peace. Mighty God. Yes. Talking about Jesus. Yes. Uh, this book. I know it's called Holy Bible, but it could be a Jesus book. Because it's all about Jesus. Yes, God coming to rescue man. Yes, Jesus is God manifest in the flesh. The Word was made flesh. Think about this. Worshiping, worshiping, worshiping. Giving God praise, adoration. Yes. With your mouth, the fruit of your lips. Giving thanksgiving unto the Lord. You mean you've sat in church and you never made a sound? Hmm. Really? You've heard people uh, speak about the Lord and you've heard people sing about the Lord, but you have not participated, you have not involved yourself uh, in worship? Uh, then you're dead. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're dead. Yeah. Yeah, you are dead. That's right. Sure enough, dead. Yeah, yes. Acts 2 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. You know what Pentecost means. It means 50. You didn't know that? Oh, yeah, it means 50, yeah. 50 days after the resurrection of Jesus Christ. This Bible is all about Jesus. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. People don't want to use the word Jesus. They don't want to call God Jesus. They want to call him everything else but Jesus. But it's Jesus, really it is. Acts 4, 12, neither is there salvation in any other. There is none other name given among men under heaven, whereby we must be saved. It's all about the name of Jesus, yeah. Colossians 3, 17. But whatsoever you do in word or deed, do it all. <laughs> yes, in the name of Jesus, yeah, yeah. But what if some don't believe? Yeah, this is Romans 3, 3. Uh -huh, yeah, mm-hmm. Shall their unbelief make the faith of God without effect? God forbid. Oh, yeah. Jesus is the faith of God. Jesus is the visible body of God. Yeah. In him dwell the fullness of the Godhead bodily. Yes. It's all in this word, in this Jesus book. Yes. Yes, it is. It's so wonderful, isn't it? That you have the revelation to know that Jesus is God manifested in the flesh. Yes, in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God, the same Word, the same God, oh yes. Mm -hmm. And the Word was made flesh, yeah, the same Word, the same Word that was in the beginning, the same Word that said, let there be light, became visible light through the flesh for you and for me, yes. We worship Jesus, yes we do. We pray to Jesus, yes we do. Whatever we ask in his name, he's going to give it to us. Yes. If we believe whatsoever you believe, ask him, you shall receive. Yes. Yes. Room for worship. Do you have room for worship? The day of Pentecost has fully come. They were there. One accord, one place. They were focused. Um, they're vocal on praising the Lord. Ten days. Ten days they were there praising the Lord. They were opening their mouths uh, praising the Lord uh, for ten days. What about you? Uh, you're being entertained? Yes. Uh, you're being preached to? Yes. You're being, uh, oh, someone's reading a book to you. Uh, someone wrote a book and they're reading that book to you. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I want to tell you about the book of books, the Holy Word of God. There's plenty of examples in here for our learning. Yes. Uh, for our help, for our rescue, for our deliverance. Oh, yes. You talking about someone that can preach out of this word of God and give forth some revelation wisdom? Yes, that would be uh, uh, Pastor uh, Damon White. I call him uh, Bishop. Uh, 
Damon White. Yes, uh, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Oh my, he, he talked about that alabaster box and talking about breaking the box. And uh, I never heard of. I've been in church quite a few years. Yeah, like closer to fifty. <laughs> That's a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I can say without a doubt, I've come this far. I find no fault, and I feel like going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I've had fault. Oh, yeah, I've done things wrong. Oh, absolutely, absolutely done things wrong. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh, before I was saved and while I'm saved, because it's a process. And as Elder Sean White preached, mm-hmm, trust the process. Yeah, it's a process, yeah. He's making us. <laughs> we're that vessel on the wheel. He's the potter. We're the clay. Moses and Shaper, that's why we worship him. Room for worship. You got to worship him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You've sat in that seat, and you have not moved from that seat. Oh, there was a time that uh, you got up for offering, but now you pass your envelope to somebody else, and they take the offering up. And then, of course, now lately, what there's been a change, and so the ushers, uh, they pass the tray. So you don't get up unless you have to go to the restroom. You don't have to get up. No. Uh, you don't go to the restroom because your service is only about a half hour or 45 minutes. Uh, sometimes it lasts an hour, and you're you're in and out, and the way you come in is the way you come out. Uh, you didn't say one alleluia, not one thank you, Jesus, not one glory. Hmm. Uh, even the Bible talks about saying glory uh, in the temple. Yeah, mm -hmm. not only this temple, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, this body of flesh is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. And whoever defiles his temple, mm -hmm. God gonna work with him. Yeah, yeah. So you don't want to be in that situation, no? You don't. No, you don't. Mm -mm. No, you don't. You don't want to defile your own self. Isn't there something the things that you are allergic to that uh, go against your body? That's what you like, and you go ahead and upset your stomach. You know, and you get that. You know, the runs to the bathroom because you like the taste of it so much. And so you just went on ahead anyway and put yourself through that misery. I'm talking about making room for worship. And it's a good thing to give praise unto the Lord. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Room for worship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your word have I hid in my heart. And I've hidden your word in my heart so that I can praise you outwardly as a form of worship. And the word of God lets us know that if these hold their peace, the very rocks are going to cry out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody on the street now that's not even thinking about the Lord, the Lord's going to reach out and touch them and put them in church. Mm -hmm. The same church. Send them by you, amen. And they're going to excel you in that church because you don't want to get out of that seat. Mm -hmm. uh, that seat is your throne. That seat is your uh, God. And that seat controls you. You won't even stand when the church says stand. Hey, glory. Room for worship. You got to make room. You got to make room for worship. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, isn't that what Mary did with the alabaster box? Huh? She broke that box. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, she did. Uh, and she poured it on Jesus. Uh-huh. Yeah. You need to pour your gifts on somebody else beside your greedy self. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pride won't let you do anything. Oh, no. Fear won't let you do anything. Anxiety won't let you do anything. Depression won't let you do You are serving those things uh, rather than serving a true and living God. On the day of Pentecost. Yeah. One court, one place. And what happened? Verse number two. We're talking about room for worship. You have a room for worship in your house? Yeah. Or you hang out in the bathroom, that's where you go? And you can yell, Thank you, Jesus! Glory! Bless your name, Lord! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh, uh, Are you uh, in the living room, front room, family room, uh, in the basement? You've got some place in your house, yeah, your natural house, where you have room for worship. Oh, no, you just don't worship only on Sunday, and then that's not really true worship because there's no sound coming out of you. <laughs> you put yourself on mute. you got the mute button on, and nobody can hear you give God praise because he's worthy. Yes, he is. He's so worthy. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God, my God. He's a wonderful Savior. 
He's full of majesty. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Room. Room for worship. And suddenly, look at that. Look at that. Suddenly. Ten days. Suddenly. <laughs> How long it takes? Mm, mm, mm. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, you're in the midst of worship? What? Say what? The Spirit of the Lord is, is coming down. You can feel his presence. You can feel his power. Uh, you perspiring? Yes. Perspiration, inspiration? Yes. And then the master of ceremony or mistress of ceremony or whoever's leading the services said, oh, we got to move on. Really? <laughs> really move on from worship? Oh, that is such a wonderful thing, you know, for the Lord's presence to be in your midst, in my midst, uh, that's the whole purpose of coming to church is for worship. And then you're talking about let's move on. Mm. Seems like worship is moving. <laughs> I'll put dancing in your feet. Oh, you never dance? Oh, my goodness. The word of God says praise the Lord in the dance. Oh, you're worshiping. You're giving praise to God. You're clapping your... Oh, you've never clapped your hands? We're talking about room, room for worship. This is a vessel. This is a house of prayer, yeah. A house of prayer for all people. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. You come together with all sorts of people, and you have one mind and one purpose. Uh, you come together in the unity of faith so that you can call out the name Jesus, and you can worship him in spirit and in truth because the Lord is looking for true worshipers and not fakes. Yeah, fakes, you know. You just doing it because of habit. You don't feel nothing in the heart of your mind. No, no, you're, you're a faker. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Because you haven't changed. You have not changed. The same thing that bothered you 10 years ago is bothering you now. You haven't changed. You haven't got victory over that. You haven't got deliverance over that. You haven't even made an effort to change. And because you are not, you continue to conform to this world instead of being transformed by the renewing of your mind. Oh, yes, I remember a young man that he no longer goes to our church. He no longer goes to TRM, but I remember I used to tease him a lot. Uh, he was a football player. And I used to tease him, tell him he was a trainer. I told him he was a water boy. And there's nothing wrong with those things if that's what you do. Uh, but he was a very good football player. And so... I had power over him because it always got to him. And then uh, one Sunday when I made a, a comment uh, like that, it didn't bother him. It didn't phase him anymore. And I said, oh, no. I said, you didn't took my power away. You need to take the devil's power away and worship the Lord in spirit and in truth. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's all about room for worship. But suddenly there came a sound from heaven. Yeah, that's what we need, a sound from heaven. Isn't that what we want in the preach word of God? A sound from heaven. We want a revelation word, a, a rhema word. We want a true word. Mm -hmm. We want to uh, make sense out of the word of God. Yes. Oh, yeah, that's uh, one of the reasons that I stand, amen, uh, doing our, our bishop's preaching. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I stand. I stand as long as I have the strength to stand. Yes. Because in the word of God, in the word of God, yes. That's what they did. The people stood when the minister made sense of the word of God. And of course, I, I, I do agree with you. There are some ministers that make no sense out of the word of God. <laughs> no, no, and that's the church that you're in. You don't understand the word. You're not getting anything out of the word. And you keep going year after year, amen, because that's where your grandma went, that's where your mama went, and that's where you're going. Okay, well, fine. You know, that's your reason for being there. A good for you. You're a law teacher of senselessness. Yeah. That makes no sense whatsoever. But, oh, give me a place of worship. But true worshipers, the true word of God comes forth, and there's challenges, and there's going to be changes. I'm not going to go through that again. I'm going to pass that test. Hey! Got victory over it? Yeah. Victory in my feet? Victory in my hand? Yeah! Mm hmm. Victory all over me? Yeah. You know that song? Mm hmm. God's not dead? Mm hmm. I can feel him in my feet? I can feel him in my hand? I can feel him all over me? Yeah. 
Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh my, what a wonderful Savior. Ooh, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Yes, oh yeah, yeah, that's true. I, I, it's a word that, that I gave and I asked for some time. I asked for some time and uh, I appreciate uh, 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 Bishop White, uh, Bishop Damon White. I appreciate him much. He gave me some time uh, on that particular uh, uh, Sunday. I appreciate that so much. And uh, it was four words that the Lord gave me. I'm going to give them to you. Yes. Now, I'm going to share them. Mm -hmm. Because you're God's child. Mm -hmm. And I want you to know. I want you to be in the know. So I'm going to give you the four words that the Lord gave me. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Because you belong to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think myself happy. Yes. Room for worship. When you're happy, you're going to worship. Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. You're going to find a leap. You're going to find a walk. You're going to find a praise. You're going to find a run. You're going to find some tears. There will be some reaction. There will be some movement. If there's no movement, no motion, then you are dead. Yes, you are. You're dead. No heartbeat. Dead. Mm -hmm. Even the heartbeat, you know, has a sound. Yes. Oh, yeah, there's a sound. Yeah, there's a sound. A sound from heaven. Room for worship. Yeah, Lord, welcome. Holy Spirit, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, welcome. Up. On the inside, the Holy Spirit dwells on the inside. He speaks for himself to let you know he's taking up residence on the inside. Mm -hmm. It speaks in that heavenly language, a language that he chooses to speak out of you. Yeah, to let you know I'm here. Mm -hmm. And you are welcome to him, a gift, a gift of the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit right now. Open your mouth and speak in tongues as the Spirit of God give utterance in Jesus' name. That's your opportunity. You ought to seize the opportunity. Yes. You ought to, it's that simple. It's just a gift. You just open your mouth and begin to speak as the Spirit of God give utterance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You will never be the same. You will never be satisfied until you receive the genuine Holy Spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's for everybody. Yes. Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So see, it's for everyone. Everyone. So is everyone that is born of the Spirit. Yeah, that's in St. John uh, chapter 3 uh, verses 5 through 8 about being born again, yeah. Because that's when you recognize a sound from heaven. You know, it's not you sounding off, but it's the Lord inside of you, a prompting you, urging you to give him praise because the praiser is on the inside, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Joy bells ringing in my soul, yeah. Joy bells ringing yeah, in my heart. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. It's all about room, for worship, a sound from heaven. It is Acts chapter 2, uh, verse uh, uh, number 2, uh, as a rushing mighty wind. See, you're going to move. Oh, yeah, you're going to move. In the wind, you are going to move. Have you seen uh, the disasters? Yeah. Uh, this is uh, the disasters. Uh, 2018, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's not to be sneezed at. No, sir. No, ma'am. Mm -mm. uh, this is the year of disasters uh, with a powerful force, yeah. Uh, people ought to be screaming. Yeah, you ought to be screaming. Uh, you ought to scream right to Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse number 14. If my people, if only my people <laughs> would humble themselves. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Mm, yeah, we got, we got something that we got to do. Amen. We got to fix this thing, and we can fix it because Jesus is the fixer. Yes, he is. Mm -hmm. Jesus, <laughs> he will <laughs> fix it for you. Yes. Yeah. He knows mm -hmm, just what to do. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Mm -hmm. Let God be true in your life. Let God be for real in your life. God bless you in Jesus' name.